As part of the Greater Burlington Area's City Nature Celebration, organizers have been asking for the community to help ecologists. Since Friday, thousands have helped document biodiversity in the area. NBC5's Tyler Bronson ex explains how and what experts are getting out of this. If you're ever curious about a plant while on a walk at your local park, there's an app that can help you identify the species, and ecologist experts say they want people to share their observations with them. It's hard to find a plant species UVM ecologist Walter Pullman doesn't know the background of. These are little leaflets on one leaf of the box elder. But experts like Pullman are asking for the community's help. It's got the flower parts, the leaves coming out, all bursting out of those buds. It's just amazing. Pullman is demonstrating how thousands of nature lovers have contributed to his research as part of the Burlington Wildways City Nature Challenge. Folks have been using an app called iNaturalist, capturing photos and documenting the biodiversity in the greater Burlington area. And with the app's help, people have been able to put on their ecologist hats. It already put huh. me in the genus Acer, which are the maples. And the first choice, of course, box there elder, you go. Acer Nagundo. So I'm gonna go like Spot this, on. boom, and I'm gonna share it. I've now documented that we have a box elder here in Burlington in real time. Pullman says this work is more important now than ever. Particularly we're fo focused on urban ecology with this project because biodiversity we know is in decline due to habitat loss and climate change. Cindy White, director of Burlington's Parks, Rec and Waterfront, says this initiative has been a fun way for people to get outside more while also educating themselves on their curiosities. It gets folks to get out into our parks, uh, checking out new spaces. And even more importantly, it's sort of pausing and going slower through the parks. Showing that nature is everywhere, even right in your own backyard. Pullman says while the challenge technically ends Monday night and that the bulk of their research data they'll refer to will come from, he still encourages people to take photos and to upload them to iNaturalist throughout the year. In Burlington, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.